five. Count them, five. That's how many prospects the Detroit Tigers landed on MLB Pipeline's top 100 list recently, including two in the top 10. And with that, they now have one of the strongest cases to the claim of having baseball's top farm system. I like watching them just like you guys like watching them, and they are the future of this organization. That's why they got drafted early, and that's you know, why they're here is because they're very talented people. We get the dream a little bit when we watch them play. Gotcha! The vision started with this year's number one overall pick, Spencer Torkelson, ranked seventh. Continue on to 2018's top selection, Casey Mize, who's eighth. To see Spencer Torkelson at third base, knowing that he hasn't played third base since college or high school, and he's out there every day putting his head down, working hard at third base, that's impressive. Um, knowing that he wants to do everything he can to, to help a team win, knowing that that might be best for us and he hasn't even been in the same locker room as us yet. Um, that's pretty cool. To see Casey Mize go out there and to see him kind of be frustrated on the mound at times and then now to see him with just his demeanor, just, you know, if you walk out there now, you go, man, that guy doesn't look like he was drafted two seasons ago, first overall. He looks like his demeanor, he looks like a veteran. He looks like a guy that knows what he's doing out there. It's almost, you know, a little added pressure to some of the veteran guys and the guys that are in the big leagues now because, you know, we've got a lot of talent, uh, especially in the starting pitching department, right on our heels. Which, along with Mize, includes number 26, Matt Manning, and number 51, Tarek Skubal. Fastball on the low outside corner, called strike three. 13 strikeouts for Tarek Skubal. How close do you feel to the big leagues? Uh, I feel pretty close, you know, if it was up to me, you know, I, would, I hope I can be there tomorrow. I don't can't tell you how many times I've stopped and looked over at Peek and said, whoa, that's pretty. I like watching him pitch. I like the way the ball comes out. I think he's just got great stuff. I've seen him throw enough to know that with that angle and the way the ball comes out of his hand. And, Atta boy, come on. You know, his curveball change up. He, this guy's got it all. He's got a really good chance to be a real good one like we all know and all think. Strike three on the outside corner and El Trueno leave a pair of men stranded. We're cautiously, optimistically happy, I guess you could say. The day that I'll be happiest was we're in, we're in the World Series. As far as the rebuilding, uh, adding of the adding of uh, talent to the organization, yeah, we I think we've done a good job. I think obviously from where we were a few years ago at the bottom of the, the list of, you know, organizational prospects to where we are right now um, as, as a tribute to our scouts, uh, our analytics department, and our player development system. I'm proud of them. I think they've all done a good job. I think we've, we, we're, we're on the right track for sure. A track which could be accelerated by the final Tiger in MLB Pipeline's top 100, 33rd ranked Riley Green. And that is a big time play by Riley Green. He robbed Crone of a homer. Physically speaking, He's, he's already been, he's already developing into a man from a, a, a young man, you know, out of high school to a guy that now he looks like body of a major league player. You can see that physical development happening to him right now. I would say he, he's doing it a little bit faster than I thought because when we first got him, he, you know, you guys might have seen the same thing. He looks skinny, right? Now you can see he's putting on some muscle and um, that strength of, of becoming a major league player, a man per se, uh, is coming faster than, than I even thought. So, you know, power has been there and, you know, it, uh, the athleticism, uh, he's, got, he's got good running speed. Obviously, he's taking a lot of pride in his defense. Um, so that total package, we're, we're seeing it uh, develop right in front of our eyes uh, pretty quickly, or, or, you know, so for, for, you know, for a kid right out of high school. I feel a lot stronger. I mean, I mean, I, I remember last season, I lost about like 10 to 15 pounds just in one season. So I was like, all right, well, I gotta, I gotta kind of bulk up, get some pounds on me. And um, yeah, I did and I'm feeling good now. We as coaches and the general manager, we like to see these young men around. Uh, we're very proud of this uh, this group that we have, and uh, they're going to make us better in the long run. We know where this team can be in the future, but we're very optimistic right now where we're at uh, and what we can put on the field and perform. We're all wearing the same uniform, uh, and uh, hopefully we all wearing the same uniform the same day. Like I said, competition breeds success. 